I don't think uh, the decision uh, taken by the board uh, last uh, month uh, was not uh, wrong, uh, perfectly right, and uh, we will continue the current uh, extremely uh, accommodative expansionary monetary policy in order to achieve 2% inflation target in a sustainable and stable manner. But let me point out a few things. First, the Japanese economy is recovering from the pandemic, and uh, probably in uh, fiscal 2022, the Japanese economy has grown uh, about, by about uh, 2%. And for uh, fiscal 2023, again, the economy is likely to grow uh, close to 2%. Since Japan's potential growth rate is about 1% or less than 1%, uh, two consecutive years of uh, uh, two percent or close to two percent growth, well above uh, potential growth rate, mean that uh, the uh, GDP gap is uh, is closing, and the labor market has becoming tight, and we expect uh, wages to accelerate uh, to grow, and that would eventually. Uh, make 2% inflation target met with a sustainable and a stable manner. But second point, as you said, uh, inflation rate in last December reached 4%, highest in the last 40 years, but largely caused by import price hike. And we expect uh, probably from February this year inflation rates start to decline, and fiscal year 2023 as a whole, inflation rate would be less than 2%. So uh, we decided to maintain the current uh, extremely accommodative monetary policy for the time being. Our hope is that wages start to rise, and that could make uh, uh, 2% inflation target to be met in a stable and sustainable manner, but we have to wait for some time. Third point, as uh, prior speakers argued, certainly uh, digital transformation and uh, green transformation, these two uh, aspects of uh, uh, structural changes would uh, Hope, hopefully uh, raise uh, potential growth rate in coming years while uh, uh, achieving uh, necessary social, uh, socially responsible attitude toward climate change uh, risk. Uh, and uh, already uh, the Japanese government uh, uh, indicated that uh, the, the government would uh, facilitate uh, providing uh, substantial subsidies as well as uh, tax breaks uh, to increase uh, digital investment, including uh, investment in human capital, and also uh, decarbonization uh, in investment. Actually, the government estimates that even in Japan alone, such uh, uh, green transformation uh, investment would amount to more than $1 trillion in the next 10 years, which is huge. And uh, that would require, of course, uh, uh, scientific as well as uh, uh, various uh, uh, progress. But I'm quite sure that uh, in these two aspects, uh, the Japanese economy can grow, uh, hopefully with uh, one to two percent in the next uh, couple of years.